moving on mrs pelico did it we can do it too these were the words of giselle pelico as she stood before a french court to testify against her ex-husband who orchestrated her mass rape by over 70 men as Giselle appeared before the court, large crowd gathered outside the court to stand in support with her. People showered her with applause and gave her flowers as she exited the courtroom. She hasn't changed, I find, despite everything she's been through. She's incredible, in fact. I had a lot of admiration for her and of course I have even more today. She only spent a year doing my workshop. Some students I may have had for six years and I wouldn't remember them but she spent one year here and made her mark with her beautiful presence and her attentiveness to others. Really, she's a beautiful person. Her husband Dominic Pellico is accused of heavily drugging Giselle and then inviting strangers to rape her in the southern village of Mazan in France. Other than Pelico, 50 other men aged between 26 and 74 are also on trial for their alleged involvement. Giselle has requested the court to hold open proceedings to raise awareness of the use of drugs to commit sexual abuse. In a harrowing and emotional testimony before the court, Giselle said, and I'm quoting, when you're raped, there is shame, and it's not for us to have shame, it's for them, unquote. The disturbing testimony included questions about a video that had been shown to the court in which she is heard asking to stop. It was rape, she said, when asked if her words amounted to consent. Describing herself as a woman who is totally destroyed, Giselle said, rapist could be in families and among our friends. She's expected to return to the court for statements as the trial that gripped France and the world would continue into December.